Hello everyone, this is Bernice from The Nappy Mouse and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this sweet looking uh, Christmas tree tag just in time for Christmas. I know we should have started this in July but actually it's not too late. This is very uh, quick and easy. I have, I'm going to show a link down below or I'll have a link down below on how you can make um, 18 uh, tags from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and then also uh, the inserts that go behind it for the 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I will not be adding this uh, little guy here for this particular video, but we will be doing the rest over here. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is one um, double-sided cardstock of two inches by four inches, and then you'll need some kind of white or light colored paper. This is for the lining in the back, and this is one and three fourths by three and one eight. You'll need a uh, a circle a die or actually I uh, trace this from a coffee can lid and this particular one is a half of a four inch circle so you'll get two Christmas tree from one full circle but this is half and this paper is from waste not paper and it is called clover and then you'll need uh, roughly about a fourth of an inch an inch thick ribbon uh, this one here measures uh, six inches long or six ish and then you'll also need twine uh, this is roughly between uh, 10 inches 8 inches 10 inches long um, the one that I'm using is from knot and bow and this is natural and copper and I still have some of this at the store that I do sell by the yard um, also I do have this ribbon here and it is from what is it from here we go. I'm sorry. It is from Morex Ribbon and it is called Basic uh, Ribbon Basic. And this one here is uh, in ivory, the gross grain ribbon. So yeah, it comes 10 yards to a spool. And excuse me, it is 3 eighths of an inch. So sorry about that, but that's what you will need. And then let's see, we've got some glitter paper over here that we'll um, be using. And I use the uh, Tim Holtz um, star and this particular one is from Sizzix. Uh, I do have some of this still left at the store too so if you're interested yeah come take a look at that and then lastly you will need um, this jelly roll from Sakura it is number 37962 and this is about a silvery one this particular one uh, has glitter inside and so it works really really well and we're going to be using it to embellish the edge of the tree over here and then let's see what else a hole punch some scissors um, glue and yep yeah, that's about it okay so let's get started let me set this over here to the side the first thing here i'll put everything aside here oh and also of course some tape runner so the one i'll be using is uh the scrapbook adhesive tape runner and that's to glue this and the um, tree to the back okay first thing that we're going to use is get our scissors over here and we're going to create an angle and then get this piece that you've just caught cut out and then go ahead and use that as a template for the other side and then create your um, second piece and then get your hole punch and punch this I'll roughly go about one fourth of an inch down and then punch your hole over there and then let's go ahead and create our Christmas tree oh but before we do that because uh, it does add a little bit of bulk over here let's flip this over to the back side and the back side is a solid piece over here now this particular paper you can write over here and people will see it but normally when you have a double-sided um, cardstock you cannot and so therefore let's go ahead and add this and we'll just add like three strips over there you don't have to go overboard the paper is pretty light and when you uh oops when you put it down okay make sure that it has an eighth of an inch on the left and right hand side and also on the bottom okay there we go so now you can write anything and if you want to do it beforehand that would be really smart because um you know i've made mistakes before and i would have to rip it out and put it back uh, over okay so now we're going to create this Christmas tree over here so what you do is you get the the flat side here 
and this is half of the Christmas tree in the four inch uh, circle. Hold it down like this and then take the top part and then you're going to fold it over creating that swag okay so the more that this side is out the short and squatty your tree will get if you were to go a little bit uh not have much of a swag and not having it stick out it will be tall and skinny but i want mine short and squatty so then you crease that part and now take this and fold it towards you making sure that it matches the line right there okay and then crease it to get that edge and now take uh this piece here and fold it away from you matching this edge right here and then crease it and then we still have some left that we can probably fold it over but remember now we're folding it towards uh us and then matching this right here okay and there you go perfect if you would like you can add uh, glue dots or dimensionals here I'm really just gonna leave it alone and uh, put some adhesive here to the back and then pretty much kind of center it here and that is why I like to create the hole punch here before put you know before adding all this because just in case I don't want to put a, a hole through the star here um, but yeah so now we're gonna get our star and any glitter paper would work you know I saved the glitter paper because you can do the smallest of things here if you have the small punches I mean they're just great to have around and then use up uh, any of the glitter paper and I have a hard time throwing glitter paper I'll have to admit that okay so what we'll do is put it like right on top over here to cover it and you can see I didn't need to add dimensionals or anything because the fold itself will pretty much give that uh, dimension itself so yeah so now we're good to go okay and then the next thing that we're going to do is take our ribbon and from one end thread it through the hole and I try to make sure I have the I guess it doesn't matter with this one uh, but I try to make sure that the top part is sticking out uh, and then go ahead and make and um, make sure it's leveled at the top and I take a close pin to hold it in place now I'm taking this twine and this particular twine is beautiful as it is it does tend to unravel so I go ahead and I uh, tie a knot on each end before I tie it to the ribbon to secure that in, in place it just makes it much easier now go ahead and take the twine and put it underneath the ribbon and then let's tie it once okay you see how as doesn't matter how tight I tie it it tends to want to undo itself so the trick to that is is take each end and put it to the other side okay and then tie it pull and then you see how it doesn't undo itself so that's the trick and keep keeping it uh, holding instead of having to put your finger in the middle and then I'll tie it again in, a, in another knot to secure it okay and then let's see let's go ahead and clean up these edges in an angle now I got that and yeah pretty much this oh wait no we have to embellish it now that's the really fun part okay let me put this aside now I'm using the uh, gel pen by Sakura and this particular one uh, has like the glitter so when you write it has like little glitter and I just love to use this as embellishment this is actually better or a great substitute that if you don't want to use stickles uh, or any of those kind of um, glitter that has glue in it already because if you don't want to wait it to dry now it doesn't come up uh, it doesn't give you that dimension like stickles would do or or any of that but this does dry quickly and it's just easy to uh, navigate also or to use it to write and all I'm doing is adding to the edge I'm just retracing the scallops over here just to give it a nice uh, little pop 
there we go and if you want to they uh, they do come in other colors so if you wanted to create um, some ornaments yeah, you, you can totally do that or if you have any kind of uh, bling to it any kind of dots to it that would look nice to use it as ornaments but I'm just gonna leave it like this because I'm gonna be mass producing this just in time for Christmas okay all right folks that is it let me know what you think and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would love for you to do so and if you like this video go ahead and please hit that like button and also I would love to know what you think and I've got some more videos on Christmas tags coming up okay there you go okay well thank you so much for watching guys you have a great day